Hello, this is Denise Nicola. I am Denise Nicola, and I want to talk to you today about glyphosate. You probably don't even know you're consuming it. I didn't. Um, you heard my story before. I was suffered from depression, and I had welts on my body. Painful welts. Glyphosate was a chemical, or is a chemical, that was used to demineralize pipes so that the water could flow through or whatever they needed to flow through it would flow through however they found out that it killed the weeds in the field that it landed on so they decided to use it as a herbicide and you probably heard of roundup which is probably one of the most popular herbicides around they use it all over the world well they decided not only are they going to um you know put it in the as a herbicide somebody decided they're going to make roundup ready corn and oftentimes when i think gmo i think of genetically modified foods i think of food that has some roundup in it or glyphosate in it which is probably the scientific name for it and you will find glyphosate in corn products corn soy in fact they say that it's in over 80% of the corn and the soy in the United States, all right? In addition to that, they've you if you eat pastries and some of the pastries, they have used the glyphosate as a tool to dry the wheat. So you're eating it in the bread and your cereals and all that kind of stuff. Why is it important for you to know what glyphosate is? It is a possible carcinogen. What does a carcinogen mean? It pop, it possibly causes cancer. And I'm figuring it causes an inflammation in the body. And I'm guessing. I'm not a doctor here. I'm just guessing. But, you know, you want to avoid this. I find that I avoid it because I feel like my body needs more nutrients. And if it's taking the minerals out of metal, then imagine the minerals that are in your body that it's taken out. Because the human body not only needs minerals to live it needs vitamins to live and it needs aminos and these things are better absorbed into your body when you don't eat food that contains glyphosate so i know some of you like those cookies those cakes those breads you know those cereals those juices that have high fructose corn syrup or cornstarch or whatever in there i would avoid it another way you get um, glyphosate or possibly get it in your food is when you eat pastries because the flour the wheat has also been peppered used to has also been dried with the glyphosate so it's in there too in addition to that you could also be getting it from your meats I found out recently that some of the some of the manufacturers have been feeding the corn to the GMO corn the roundup ready corn to chicken to cows and to fish so you're getting it in every, it's like you're being bombarded with this stuff so what I would suggest to you is go to your local farm to get food you know these farmers are working diligently to make food that has no pesticides and food that you can just pick up and eat without having even to wash it and you know sometimes you need a, to eat a little bit of dirt so sometimes when I get my fruits and vegetables sometimes I do not wash it because you know babies eat dirt sometimes and they eat it because your body needs sometimes some of those minerals and there's a book out there called eat the dirt all right so you want to make sure you go to a local farm you can find a local CSA nearby you can check them out the one nearby me in Delaware it's called Highland Orchards you can get like a um, uh, vegetables and fruit that are in season for only $25 for a family of five, all right? The price, a week. The prices are very reasonable. Don't let anybody tell you that it's expensive to eat healthy. It's expensive not to eat healthy. 20 years from now, 40 years from now, when you, you wake up and you have some kind of illness or whatever, it could be because you're damaging your gut from eating food that is not conducive to your health. My name is Denise Nicola, and my goal is to do videos once a week or more to help you and to help me to live a better life. I'm currently on an on and off juice feast, 
and I can tell you my mental clarity is better. I can tell you that I feel good and I buy my fruits and vegetables from my local farm. The apples taste different. They're fresher. They're more delicious. So check it out. I'll put some links below about glyphosate and where it could be. And you're not just going to take my word for it. I want you to research it for yourself. I want you to watch the videos that I'm going to post from your local media about these things, about glyphosate. Anyway, again, my name is Denise Nicola. I cannot wait to serve you. I'm excited about serving you as we eat, live, and drink together. And maybe at the next time we can talk about alternatives that you can have that are even more delicious than what you normally would have that can nourish your body and give your body all the things that you need in order for you to live at the optimum highest level. Signing off.